Hello everyone, today is August 2nd, 2020, Sunday afternoon, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 Celsius. Today I'll be walking through Times Square and seeing how Times Square is doing during the global pandemic. This is during the phase four reopening of the New York City economy. Right now, most businesses are allowed to reopen with restrictions. Unfortunately, Broadway is closed until next year at the very minimum. You can see here Ray's Pizzeria. They got a few tables in front, but no one's dining outside except for that one person. Seems like he even works for the store. I'm curious how the former tourist destination of New York City is faring right now. Tourism has not returned back to New York City, not by a long stretch. Look at that, there's even an old advertisement there for the Five Borough bike ride on May 3rd, 2020. You're three months too late, but the digital billboards are all up right now. Seems like this one over here is actually broken. It's got some errors in the display. But just looking at the digital billboards, it just tells you how much has changed from last year. Last year, there were advertisements of uh, companies pitching their products and their services, and now there's advertisements encouraging support and good hygiene for people around the world. That's a new one over there that says welcome to Times Square in front of One Times Square. A fun, a fun fact about One Times Square, that's where the New Year's Eve ball drops. That building is not occupied with the exception of the Walgreens on the first floor. They make enough money from the advertising on the building to support itself that they don't need tenants. When I came to Times Square back in May, uh, March and April, there was barely anyone here, but it's good to see that signs of life are returning back to Times Square. It's definitely not back to its former glory, but at least it's not a completely dead neighborhood now. I used to say it's the quietest neighborhood in New York City, but not anymore. I think it's coming back. I think it's coming back. Look at this, the Times Square steps are open now. And um, Times Square is still being used for peaceful rallies, it looks like. Here's a support Hong Kong protest right now. Hong Kong revolution of our times, waving the black flag. We'll go up the Times Square steps. This is the first time I've been up here since the pandemic started. They closed it off until now. Great to see that it's reopened though. I am gonna try to get a panorama from here. No need to go all the way to the top. But the view from up here always gives me shock. you enjoyed that view from the top of the Times Square steps. Believe it or not, there are still tourists out here. It's amazing that there's still tourists in Times Square. But I guess there are people who are allowed to travel here and they just kept their airfare or their flight. 
Just a sign of the times, folks. There's a global pandemic going on around the world, and there's also civil unrest. Another note that right now has to be here today. It is because we have to send a clear and stronger message to our Hong Kong fellows and the international communities, and also the Hong Kong government and the Beijing government. American Eagle Outfitters is open right now. There's also a handful of police on the corner of the building. I have noticed that too, whenever there's any kind of like protesting going on or large political gatherings, the city does station a few police. Just to make sure everything goes smoothly. Hey, look, there's some costume characters in Times Square. I'm not sure what those are supposed to be. I still would not recommend for people to travel to New York City, though. A lot of the attractions are severely limited in what they can offer, and things are not back to normal. There's no indoor dining yet. Broadway's not going to be reopening, as I said before. They got some uh, special chairs here. This doesn't look comfortable to stand in, though, or sit in. Here's someone who needs money for weed. He's not going to lie, he needs money for weed. Look at this, a large group of children. They want to take pictures with the costume Minnie and Mickey Mouse. Now Luigi and the other Minnie Mouse is coming in and they're all gonna demand something for taking their picture afterwards. That's how the, um, the hustle works. You're not required to tip them, but they do expect it. Here we got Spider-Man and also a Transformer. Let's go down one of these side streets for a little bit and then I'll come back around the other way. the Minskoff Theater, home of the Lion King. I really feel for all these Broadway theaters because there's a lot that goes into these shows. From the cast, the crew, the people who design the stage, the ticket collection, the costumes, the lighting, the sound. All of this now is in. It's very tough now for these people. I do wish them the best of luck. Look at this. The box office is closed. Oh my goodness. And now you have sites like this too, where in front of the Lion King Theater, there's a lot of litter here in front. Someone might be just living here. And I can imagine why, because over here it's shaded from the elements. It's somewhat uh, cooler in here. Tough times, folks. I really hate to see people living like that. I hope that the world gets better soon and these people, they don't have to live on the streets Okay, back to the main area of Times Square. 
going towards um, 42nd Street. Right now I see a headline coming across the scroll, the scrolling news. Tropical storm Isaiah's nearest Florida before heading for the Carolinas. Another hurricane season coming. It's scary. I'm gonna go over here now to this side of Broadway. Oh, hey, Happy what's up? Good. Hey, Happy I'm here good. in Times Square again. What's up? Yeah, man. I see you all the time. Yeah, Happy I know. Time. I had to cover Times Square again. You know me. Yeah, man. All right. Well, that's cool. I got recognized by someone in Times Square. It's always fun to come into Times Square and see the new advertisements up. It's actually strange to see tourists now in New York City. It's like you kind of want to go up to them and talk to them and ask them why you're even in New York. It's a pandemic. What's there to see? But some people, they do take life more simply. They may enjoy it. Like this family here, I'm sure they're enjoying it very much. Oh, I was gonna block her picture. Didn't just notice at the last minute. cross over here now and then walk towards 8th Avenue on 42nd Street. There's no cars coming this way so I can walk this way diagonally. One Times Square, the only tenant is Walgreens, as I told you. Every side of the building is covered in advertisements. Take a look at this piece of art. Never, never give up, believe, I love you, New York. Keep smiling with the Statue of Liberty holding a heart balloon instead of the torch. Love that mural. And that's something we should always remember. Never give up, believe, keep smiling, and I love you. Great words of advice. And over time, New York City will survive because it's been through major, major, times of crises before and every time it's come back this time looks like it's going to be more severe for the city but 
over time it will come back here's the box office for Harry Potter and the cursed child well actually this one is that was the other theater but Harry Potter is not going to be open until next year Over there across the street is Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. I think it's a tourist trap easily. And Ripley's, believe it or not, believe it or not, I think it's a ripoff, believe it or not. Those are the number one and two tourist traps in New York City, but people, they will pay for it anyway. I think there's more interesting places to see in New York City than a wax figure of a popular figure. I mean, I think it's fun just for the novelty to do it once, but you wouldn't go that back there on a repeat basis. Here's Regal Cinemas, which is closed, and also the AMC theaters. It's really sad. I don't know how these theaters are going to come back now. Many people have gotten used to life at home, streaming from their television, their internet connect connections. Five Guys restaurant has some outdoor seating available, so there still are dining options in Times Square. Patrick's restaurant is closed. They've got blue tape all around the windows. And here's 8th Avenue and 42nd Streets. Normally a very, very busy intersection, but right now it's not that busy. But this concludes my walkthrough of Times Square, folks. If you enjoyed this video on a summer weekend in New York City, you got to see how Times Square is like at this time, be sure to smash that like button for me, subscribe for some more videos and live streams, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. Thank you.